have a, a kind of a core of veterans coming back, I guess. Uh, Shaquille Smith would be a, one of our fourth year athletes. Uh, we'll rely on him in the guard spot pretty heavily. Um, AJ Simmons, who was a big piece of the team uh, last year as a, as a point guard. Uh, John Marco Luciani would be a second year guy. Uh, we're looking for big things from him. Uh, that'll be kind of our returning guard core. Uh, from the forward spot, we got Reese Larry, who's uh, his fourth year here at Acadia, uh, so he'll be a veteran presence down there. And, uh, and Kyle Arsenault, who's now in his third year, stepped up pretty big for us last year. Uh, so we're, we're looking for those two guys to lead the front court. Uh, uh, so those will be our kind of main five returners uh, we're looking to produce for the Axemen this year. Yeah, I think we got a we got a we had a pretty good recruiting class. Uh, we had you know four guys that we think are going to make a, an immediate impact. Um, ben Miller being one of them, uh, Winnipeg native. He's his first year here at Acadia. Just uh, spent the summer playing with the junior national team. Uh, he's going to be a pretty impactful rookie, we think. Uh, so he'll get some some time off the bench and maybe find his way into the starting rotation at times. Um, uh, big Nick Ernst from uh, Ontario. We're, we're hoping he's another guy that's going to. You know, back up Reese or play beside Reese as you know, six nine, six ten guy, first year kid as well. So he'll be someone we're looking to. Um, Nick De Palma is another guy that uh, we think can make an impact right away at this level. Uh, he's got the ability to shoot the ball uh, at a really high clip and uh, uh, can, can uh, make some stuff happen on offense for sure. Uh, and then we have uh, another guy, Dan Luton out of Fredericton, New Brunswick. We'll probably find some uh, some minutes off the bench as well. High energy guy. Uh, does a lot of the dirty work, so we're looking for him. Uh, those kind of four rookies will find some time off the bench as well. Um, and those are kind of our new guys coming in and hoping to, to fill out the rotation a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. We got a, we kind of lost some veterans from last year, you know, in Owen Kloss and Anthony Sears and Anthony Ash. Uh, those were kind of our major minute guys and leaders in the locker room and on the floor. So. Uh, I think the, the, uh, there's some leadership roles that need to be filled and, and some shots that need to be taken. So uh, what, I, what I think this group is, uh, is kind of more even across the board. I think we'll be a pretty good unit going in and uh, not caring who gets the credit, but just uh, everyone kind of playing as one. And, and the buy-in so far has been pretty good from this group. Uh, so we're looking for that as a unit. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, be able to do some things uh, together, and uh, hopefully, that, I think that'll be our strongest part, uh, our strongest point going forward in, in the start of the season. Uh, just a, a solid crew of guys that are going to do this together, and you know, defend as five and, and run the floor and put some pressure on the rim. Uh, we do have some athletes that can get out and run. Uh, as, as mentioned before, Shaquille Smith is a, is a real great athlete out on the break, and John Marco is another guy that can really make some stuff happen in transition, so we'll look to push the ball and get some stuff at the rim. Uh, but I think we just have a lot of pieces that are, are buying in right now, and, and hopefully that is kind of our main strength as a team, is just being a team. Yeah, I think, you know, right, we're, we're retooling a little bit. Not, I wouldn't say a rebuild year, but I think, you know, we, there's some holes to fill uh, based on losing an All-Canadian and, and the Conference All-Star. So, you know, there's just some things that are going to have to happen, some, you know, shots that have to be taken, there's some rebounds that are going to be out there that someone else is going to have to get now. So you now we're going to rely on kind of all pieces, I think, to, to fill that role. So, you know, uh, Reese and, and Kyle are going to have to be the forwards and, and they're going to have to do a pretty good effort on the defensive end to rebound. Uh, you know, we had a guy who was maybe one of the best rebounders in the country last year. He, we relied on him a lot just to swallow everything up, but we're going to have to do it a little bit more now by committee. Uh, but I think we have those guys that are, are ready to put their bodies on the line and, and be physical and go get some, some defensive rebounds for us. Um, and I think what we're going to do with this group, uh, I think we have some pretty good athletes that can get up and, and run the floor. Uh, so we we got to get out in transition, I think, and, and push the ball and, and find guys and try to get some easy scores uh, in transition offense. Um, we're going to be pretty relentless, I think, on the offensive glass, too, to just try to get some extra possessions. Um, finding ways to, to make some hustle plays and, and get on some loose balls and just we have to, to maximize everything we can do uh, to get extra possessions and, and that'll be a big key for us going forward and trying to do it. You know the five guys under the floor got to be working as a unit and, and doing it together. Uh, that'll be a 
our major key, just all five guys doing it, doing it together.